Doesn't your Bible say, but for every word of God, doesn't it go on there and say that? Yeah, but you can't, that isn't reliable. At last, at last, you got a Bible you can believe in if you're just as nutty as a pecan pie. <laughs> All right, uh, John. Uh, I think it's John. Oh, uh, no, make it, make it Luke again. And uh, make it Luke, oh, uh, uh, Luke 17, verse 36. Luke 17, verse 36. Luke 17, 36. Okay. That's that one. Luke chapter 23, verse 42. There is no, there is no Luke 17, 36 in this reliable Bible you can count on. It's gone. All right, uh, Luke chapter 23. Luke chapter 23, verse 42. Luke 23, 42. Dying thief on the cross. What a blasphemous corruption. Luke 23, 42, and he was saying, Jesus, remember me when you come in your kingdom. Does yours say, Lord? How many of yours says, Lord? Let me see your hands. They took his divinity away from him right when he's getting that fellow saved. Yeah, At last, a Bible you can trust in. Who said that? Good old, sweet, godly Dr. John R. Rice. So are the Lord, Curtis Hudson, bless your heart. I wonder how come he didn't pr pr print a retraction for, for that thing right there. Now listen, back in the early days of Christianity, they had a heresy called doceticism. I'll tell you what doceticism was. Doceticism was the teaching that Jesus Christ was a man, an ordinary man. And when he got baptized here, the Holy Spirit came down upon him and turned him into the Christ. And the Holy Spirit before at other times made Buddha a Christ and Muhammad a Christ and Lao Tse a Christ and made Jesus a Christ. Holy Spirit came on him like that. Then when he died on the cross, the Holy Spirit left him. And when the Holy Spirit left him, he was no longer deity. So he said, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? He was a man before, he was before his baptism. He was a man at his crucifixion and his deity only was after he got baptized and before he got crucified. So when he gets crucified, you take the name of deity out of the dying thief's mouth, Lord, and give it a man's name, Jesus, and tell these dumb, stupid, foolish, shallow, Bible-rejecting fundamentalists, at last, a Bible you can believe in. Not unless you've got one oar in the water. <laughs> All right, Luke chapter 24, verse 45. Luke 24, 23, 23, 45. You say, well, why don't you get some rat about, rabbit about? They're messing with my book. Amen. Maybe that book doesn't mean nothing to you. It means something to me. Yeah. You said, oh, King James Bible? Listen, listen. I've laid around in motels and hotels in this country at 12 o'clock at night and 1 or 2 in the morning with the call girls going up and down and phoning in and the thing squeaking next door and leaving bottles out my hallway in front of my room at night, whiskey bottles. I've been in places like that when my spouse was mailing my wedding ring back to me in the meeting, and I had a temperature of 102 degrees and not much of an offering, and I'd have fallen a thousand times if it hadn't been for that book. Amen. And God Almighty got me through and got me through for 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, 25 years, 30 years, 35 years, 40 years. You mess with that book, honey, I mess with you. And you know you've been messed with when you've been messed with. Well, that book is for me, brother. That book for me is the kiss of God and the lost soul of man, brother. You know what kept me up in those days? The only thing that kept me up was that book and a bunch of folks praying for me. Don't you tell me at last I've got a book I can believe in. Don't you tell me that stuff after I've tried out this book for 40 years. Don't you give me that gas. Hudson or Jones, any one of you fakers, you two-bit pious, lying, thieving, faker you. Amen. Their idea is try to steal my faith in that book. Amen. Saying, at last, Ruckman, you got a book you can believe in. You dirty crook. I can say, oh, no, that ain't the right gesture. <laughs> All right, uh, Luke chapter 23, Luke chapter 23, verse 45. The sun being obscured, the veil of the temple is torn in two. The sun being obscured, that'd be an eclipse. There wasn't any eclipse when Christ died.